I've got a lemon tree here. It's actually produced tons of lemons last year and uh, it did really well but it did so well I actually had to stake it. You see I've put a stake tied to it. It was actually starting to fall over the whole tree. Roots came out of the ground and everything. And then after its massive crop, even though it's flowering again, it's looking a little bit depleted. And so I want to improve the ground around the base of it and feed it a bit. Uh, it's got violets growing around the bottom leaves and everything right up to the trunk basically it needs a bit of work so I'm going to do that now okay what I'm going to do now is rake the rubbish away from the trunk lots of rubbish in there and we can see where we go from there Get underneath them with a mattock. Have to take the whole layer off. So what I've done here, I've cleared away basically all the violets and bits and pieces from around the tree and I've cleared around the trunk and what I'm going to do around the trunk, I'll put some bricks or something around the trunk and I'm going to mulch around, all the way around that so the bricks will protect the trunk from getting collar rot and there'll be mulch all around here, I'll put a frame around it and we'll just add compost and manure and all sorts of bits and pieces and even fertilize it as well and within a month or two this tree is going to look completely different a lot healthier so that's my border around the tree you can see down in there put some bricks and stones around the trunk to protect it so when I fill it with mulch it won't get to it I'll just put in a border around here goes all the way around that just contains all my good compost and food that's there for the lemon tree I do like our lemons well there you have it, all mulched up full of compost and that's going to really cheer that tree up And the beauty is all the violets I dug up I can put somewhere else. Gardening seems never ending. It's great fun.